Okay, this is another um, nice example here, and this is whether to make or buy something. Okay, and typically what companies do is they'll they'll buy something that that is not integral to their strategy, that they don't have to give away company secrets for or something like that. And when it takes away from your, your key resources, you know, and the, and the price isn't that much higher than what it would cost if you did it yourself. Okay, so this is that type of analysis. So this is a restaurant that's considering whether to bake bread for its restaurant in-house or buy the bread from a local bakery. Okay, good, good, short, good uh, example here. The chef estimates the variable cost of making each loaf. Okay, so we're going to have variable cost is going to be ingredients. Ingredients are 54 cents. Oops, wrong. 54 cents. 25 cents of overhead. So I'll say variable overhead, 25 cents. That's electricity to run the oven, and 72% of direct labor for kneading and forming the loaves. Okay, so direct labor, 72 cents. And that makes good sense. Okay, so we've got ingredients and variable overhead and then direct labor. Okay, uh, allocating fixed overhead, depreciation on the kitchen equipment and building uh, is based on direct labor, and they assign a $1.05 of fixed overhead per loaf. Okay, none of the fixed costs are avoidable. Okay, and that's that word. Avoidable means we can get rid of them. Okay, so that, that doesn't make any difference at all. We don't care about it then because it's, it's there whether or not you make the bread. So it's irrelevant. Okay, now the local bakery would charge, so this is if we make it. Sorry. And then if we buy it, it's going to cost $1.70 per loaf. Okay, if we make it, it'll be 54 cents plus 25 plus 72. I get a dollar 51. Okay, a dollar 51 to make it, a dollar 70 to buy it. So, what's the now? Let's look at the questions here. They've got what's the full product cost of making the bread in house? Now, full cost includes fixed overhead. Fixed overhead is $1.70. So this is what, $3.21? This is full cost. Okay? And think to yourself, it includes fixed overhead. All right, so that would be the full product unit cost of making the bread in-house would be $3.21. Next question is, should they, should Brady House bake the bread in-house or buy it from the bakery? Well, if they bake it in-house, it's going to cost $1.71 a loaf. If they buy it in the break bakery, it's going to cost $1.70 a loaf. So in this case, you would say to bake it in-house. Okay, there are other variables, though, here. Well, like when you make bread, it, like, starts at 4 in the morning, so your employees might not want to work then. So that's another thing you have to consider. But, but the answer to the question would be you would make it because it would only cost $1.51 as opposed to $1.70 if we bought it. In addition to the financial analysis, what else should Brady House consider when making this decision? Um, the quality of the, of the other bread. Quality of bread. Okay, if you're buying it from somebody and it isn't any good, you know, bad bread kind of reflects... Other things about the meal, okay, people are sensitive to that. So you care about the quality of the bread in particular, okay. I'd also worry about employees starting that early, but I guess a job's a job. Okay, but this is the big, this is the big issue right here. Because as soon as you outsource something, all right, then you've lost your control over quality. Okay, good luck studying.